DNA structure. This segment of the tutorial will introduce DNA structure, including the chemical composition of DNA, physical structure of DNA, DNA organization in cells, the relationship between DNA and genes, DNA and you. Genes dictate your phenotype, your weight, your height, disease susceptibility, rate of aging, and your appearance, your face. DNA Basics from genes to proteins. DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, is made up of genes. Genes code for the physical development and phenotype of an organism. Genes are considered as the unit of genetic inheritance. Chromosomes are made up of genes and associated with proteins. They are located in the nucleus. The building blocks of DNA. This is a deoxyribose. It's a five-sided sugar. The nucleoside consists of a sugar and the base. This is a nucleoside. A nucleotide consists of the nucleoside plus a phosphate group. There can be one, two, or three phosphate groups. Nitrogenous bases. The nitrogenous bases include adenine, guanine, thymine, and cytosine. Notice how the nitrogenous bases attach to the ribose. This is called a glycosidic bond. Phosphate base plus the deoxyribose plus the nitrogenous base equals a deoxyribonucleic acid. Chemical Composition Four bases make up DNA, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. A only pairs with T, and G only pairs with C in DNA. DNA has a phosphate backbone. This is the backbone of DNA. It's the phosphates that we've just looked at. The bases are internal. DNA is a double-stranded molecule. Putting the DNA blocks together. These are two nucleotides together. Notice the one on top, one nucleotide, the second, the second nucleotide in the chain. Also notice the phosphodiester bond linking the nucleotides in one strand. This is the phosphate group. This is the nitrogenous base and the deoxyribose. DNA nucleotides are linked at their phosphate groups in a phosphodiester bond. Notice the phosphate bonds are formed at the 5' prime and 3' prime positions. Purine and pyrimidine nucleotides. Purine nucleotides and pyrimidine nucleotides. Notice they're the nitrogenous bases. Adenine. Guanine. These are the two purine nucleotides. Cytosine and thymine. These are the two pyrimidine nucleotides. DNA strands are anti-parallel. The arrangement of the components of DNA. Notice the hydrogen bonds between the nitrogenous bases. Between adenine and thymine, there are two hydrogen bonds. Between guanine and cytosine, there are three nitrogenous bonds. Also, take a look at the phosphodiester bonds. Remember, we just discussed that they are on the backbone and so are on the outside of the molecule. 
the hydrogen bonds, that is the bases, are focused toward the inside of the DNA double helix, remembering that the strands are anti-parallel. Anti-parallel means that one strand is linked in the 3' prime to 5' prime direction, while the opposite side is linked in the 5' prime to 3' prime directions. This is an atomic schematic of the DNA double strand. RNA DNA structure comparison major differences between RNA and DNA. Base ATGC, AUGC, the difference between deoxyribose and ribose. DNA's 3D structure is long and a double helix. RNA can have various conformations. Deoxyribose is used in DNA Notice on the ribose the pink hydrogen. This is missing in ribose. In ribose it's an OH or a hydroxyl group. Organization of DNA in the cell. DNA is highly organized into chromosomes within the cell. Notice the DNA strands. They wind. It's a double helix. It forms nucleosomes. The nucleosomes further form into chromatin. These form chromosomes. Chromosomes are located in the cell's nucleus and associated with proteins. Gene Basics Genes are sections of the DNA that code for a protein. There are many genes within a DNA or chromosome molecule. This is the human chromosome number 16. Notice the stripes. These indicate genes. 90 million base pairs are contained in this chromosome and dozens of genes.